Hello, this is Agbamu Idano Grene. I'm here to show you how you can know if a number is prime using PTC MathCard Prime. Before I go straight to demonstrate it for you, let me show you prime numbers. So you can see these are prime numbers from 1 to 1000. You can see them starting from 2, the smallest prime number. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, just like that. Continue till you get to 997. All these are prime numbers. And you know, in school, there are some cases when you want to do some division, you, you may not know that the number is a prime number, especially when the number is large. Like all these kind of numbers, 461, for example, divided by, let's say, 3. You may be looking for what can go sometimes you don't know that it's a prime number and you may waste your time especially those students in primary school that are not too good in, in division so to avoid all those guessing when you are practicing especially when you are studying your mathematics you can use ptc math card prime to do your check as you are working them as time goes on you'll be used to them you will know the numbers which are prime and the ones that are not prime. So these are prime numbers between 1 to 1000. So if you want to get prime numbers, let me demonstrate it here now. So all you need to do using PTC math card prime, you need to define your the number you want to get as prime number. Let me define it. Let me say let let m be the number so let me take m as the number I want to take as prime number. So if m is the number, so let me define m. All you just need to do, you go to normal surface of the screen, just type m. Then you use the definition key. You define your number. Let me just put any number there. Let me use, for example, 2. So let's say m is 2. Okay. So now let's start the programming. So all I want to do, I want to check. So check M. So I want to check if M is prime or not. That is all I want to do. Then I will define it. If you see, I'm using the definition symbol. You're not equal to take note of that. Then after this, you go to your programming. You get your programming line. You start the recording now. You start the programming now. Then how do you start? You start by taking the for loop in the programming section, which is for loop. Click on it. Then let me take i as a value. So i is a member of, let's get a range. Let's say range from 2 down to m divided by 2. So this is the range of my numbers. i is a member of this range from 2 down to m over 2 then you get that then the next thing is let's give you a condition if you take your if if i need this mode function so you go to all functions under this place under number theory you get your mode so if mode m divided by i if this is giving me zero then the result i want to be displayed is so you assign your result so i want you to display result not a prime not a prime number so that is it so the result should, that should be displayed should be not a prime number if m the number m divide by i the number in this range and the remainder we are having is zero so the result should not be a prime number then we'll break this one then we break we break this then you move Then we need to go to another line now. Okay, so we we'll go to this line. Then you take your if.
command so if m if m equals to 0 no that is 2 if m equals to 2 then i want this result to be displayed so you assign this to this result i want prime number i want prime number to be displayed so if m equals to 2 the result should be prime number and that will end our command now then you end with results so this is all with the programming for how you can check if a number is prime using ptc prime math card so let's see now but before i check my results now i want you to take note of this take note of this note if 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 check m if check m is equals to zero so if you notice that check m is equals to zero then then m is a prime then n is a prime number so this is what i want you to take note of so with this we are true because there are some cases whereby it will display prime numbers to be to be zero so let's check now let's start all you just need to do in your programming now just write just type check so check open bracket m then press the equal to you can see it it told us it's telling us that um, m is prime number and what is m we have defined m to be two so m is prime number all you just need to do just come here and edit change the number if you put one there you see not a prime number so one is not a prime number just like that if you put three you see what it will tell us now see it gave zero so since three gave m equals to zero here and this is the condition i told you if check m is equals to zero then m is a prime number so with this now three is a prime number because check m gives zero then it's a prime number so three is a prime number that's why we have m as zero just like that if you try number eight it's not a prime number eight is not a prime number so you can try so many numbers as you like you can try seven hundred and fifty eight see not a prime number let me even pick let's pick those prime numbers we have you can pick any of this number let's pick 631 let's see what it will give us 631 if you put 631 here yeah, you see it gives zero so since it gives zero that means 631 is prime number that's what i mean by if check m is zero then m is a prime number so just like that you can try as so many numbers as any number any this is 54,687 you see it's not a prime number so just like that you can be trying different numbers if you try this so this is not a prime number if you try this one just like that so it's not a prime number so if you let's try this number let's see if you try eight seven six two eight seven so you see it gives zero that means eight hundred and seventy six thousand two hundred and eighty seven is a prime number that's why it gives zero so this is a prime number so this is how you check if a number is prime using ptc math card so i hope you enjoy my video of today so i hope you understand all i did today just go through it and that is all i want us to get in today's video so it will meet in another interesting video i will produce in my next video do have a nice time